Hello everyone, I am Nora Caris um, and I am with my colleague Busi Chan who is going to join us a little bit later in the presentation and we will talk to you about the LLM and international business law uh, from the Sorbonne Assas International Law School of Paris 2 Panthéon Assas University. Um, so Paris II Panthéon Assas University is considered by many in France as the first and most prestigious law school in France. Indeed, it has a history that spans over a century, as it is the heir of the Paris Faculty of Law and Economics, and before that, the University of Paris in the 13th century. So today, Paris University hosts around oh, less than 20,000 students per year on average, more than 2,000 teacher researchers on 16 sites that are disseminated around Paris and more recently in four countries. Because in 2011, Paris 2 Panthéon Assas University decided to launch an ambitious internationalization program through the creation of several campuses branded Sorbonne Assas International Law School throughout the world uh, and now we have uh, campuses in Dubai, Mauritius, Paris, and Singapore. Uh, the Sorbonne Assas International Law School aims at preparing the future financial and legal directors, managers of holding or big companies or the councils to their positions. So um, at the, our four campuses, we offer several programs. Uh, there is our main program of interest for you is the LLM in international business law that we offer in our four campuses. So Dubai, Mauritius, Singapore and Paris. We also have an LLB Bachelor of Law that as of today is offered uh, exclusively on our Mauritius and Dubai campuses. It's a bachelor program that uh, spans over three years. We also have some executive programs, um, mainly on our Singapore campus, but are starting to take place on our Mauritius campus as well. And we, um, once in a while, have summer or winter schools, um, prince, um, mostly on our Singapore campus as well. Um, so our LLM in international business law is offered, as I said, on the four campuses, and they are taking place in October uh, from October to June for our Paris and Singapore campuses. They are taking place from November to June uh, on our Mauritius campus and from January up until December on our Dubai campus. Um, for both Mauritius and Singapore campus, we also have a special version of the program for the French bar candidates uh, because we have an affiliation with the French, with the French bar uh, schools in France. Um, the program is quite similar on all the campuses, so you can see the 10 uh, modules that are uh, composing the program. Uh, there are two at the end, the very end, that are different in Dubai in order to correspond to special uh, local interest. So um, the program is um, a hybrid type of, uh, of teaching, so you have 10 models that are first thought over 10 years by a Paris 2 professors, exclusively in English, who is going to fly uh, from Paris to the different campuses to teach 10 hours of theoretical classes uh, for those 10 models. Afterwards, you have an extra 10 hour for each model, but is more um, has a, an emphasis on the practical um, aspect of the models and they're taught by local practitioners. So either uh, lawyers or jurists or people working in, um, in the law department of, um, of big um, companies. So um, why choose uh, our LLM? Well, uh, most LLM programs aims at allowing uh, students to deepen their mastery of the legal tools necessary for commercial relations in an international context. Um, what is interesting here is that the diploma that we are uh, we have developed uh, is a, dip a degree that will be awarded by Paris 2 Panthéon Assas, whether you do it on one or the other of the campuses. At the end, you will be awarded an LLM uh, degree from Paris 2 Panthéon Assas uh, University. 
As I said, the program is exclusively taught in English by well-renowned uh, Paris II um, professors and local prof professionals and um, practitioners. So um, the dual approach that we have uh, chosen for this program will really give you the benefit of both the French theoretical teaching of renowned professors and the practical and slightly more dynamic teaching of the practitioners. Um, this program is thus perfectly structured to allow young students fresh out of their master's degree in law or professionals who have been working in law related fields for a year to attend the program. Um, this means that our courts are very mixed. We have some young students that are in the late 20s, and we also have uh, older students that have already been practicing law for quite a while um, and uh, have uh, worked in different fields from different countries. And it's really this, um, this plurality of curriculum in our court that makes the classes dynamic because there is an exchange of uh, cultural practices uh, of, um, of, the, of the background of the different students in the class. So now I will talk to you a bit more about the um, program at the Paris campus. And then in a few minutes, my colleague Busey is going to talk to you a little bit more about the program at the Singapore campus. So why choose uh, Paris? <laughs> there is many reasons why to come to Paris. Of course, it's one of the most beautiful city in the world. I don't think I have to explain how the amazing things you can uh, see and do uh, in Paris. So of course, it's always very interesting to live in Paris for uh, a year. Uh, it's also a very student-friendly city. There is many universities in Paris, very many uh, well-renowned and less known uh, universities. So there's a really large population of students uh, in the city. There is a lot of libraries, of uh, public libraries, of university li libraries, of uh, inter-university libraries. Uh, also, it is the birthplace of civil law. Uh, so we have a very, very long history with law uh, in Paris. Uh, as I said, um, we have a university, we, we are the heir of the university that was founded in the 13th century. So uh, law is very important in the culture of, uh, of Paris. Uh, also, you are uh, in proximity to all the other European capital. Uh, so during your year in Paris, you can uh, travel around Europe and visit all the big cities. So it's very easy to travel around in Europe and you are really close to all other capitals of, uh, of Europe. Uh, also, uh, same as uh, for Singapore, it's a business net. There's a lot of business networking opportunities because it's a uh, it's um, one of the major city around the world where a lot of the big international law firms and law company want to have a, a head offices. So we have most of the um, international law firms will have an office in Paris. So you have a lot of opportunities to uh, to meet with practitioners during the program, but also outside of the program, for example, by doing an internship in one of those uh, big law firms. Um, also, one of the big specificity of the program in Paris is that we have a very, very diverse court. We usually have a court of between uh, 20 to 30 students uh, from 15 different countries. So it's uh, in Paris, we don't have a French court. We are uh, mostly encouraging foreign students to apply to the program. So we have people from very different backgrounds and that's one of the, um, the most important thing in the program is to be able to meet with people who have studied law elsewhere, who have practiced law elsewhere. So you can share your, your, your different experience together. Um, so, uh, in Paris, we also uh, are lucky enough to be located, of course, at the Paris II uh, Panthéon Assas University campus, so at the Centre Assas, which is the main uh, building of the Paris II University. So, you will enjoy the student life uh, on site with uh, the library, all the students' restaurants, and, uh, and other services that you can find on uh, a large university cam campus uh, in Paris. 
Um, about the bid budget or the cost of living, it's probably quite similar to Singapore. So I've given like a basic information here on the slides. So you can just have an, uh, an idea of the cost of living in Paris. Of course, Paris, like every large city in the world, uh, you can find really relatively cheap accommodation and food, but you can also find very, very expensive accommodation. So we are always suggesting to our students that as soon as you're accepted to the program, you must try to uh, look for accommodation uh, at the soonest so you can find a relatively centered located apartment at a relatively affordable um, prices. Um, for the food, like everywhere in the world, you can go to restaurants every day and spend a lot of money or you can uh, try to find quite uh, cheap and affordable food. Uh, public transportation is very, very great in Paris. Uh, and as a student, you often have a good price to go to uh, the museums or, or other kind of exhibition and stuff like that. So the cost of living is high but um but you can uh, manage uh, if you plan everything in advance to have a relatively affordable uh, um, living expenses um also we have a, um, a student exchange that can be organized between our both our campuses uh, singapore and paris so we have we are doing every year a schedule that is compatible to allow our students at the very end of the program in May to have a one month exchange between both campuses. So you will be attending the same uh, models uh, thought by different practitioners of teachers, of course, since they are at the same time. Um, so you can do three, uh, three half courses on the other campus. There is no charge to do this, um, this uh, exchange program. You just need to inform us in advance. And of course, you will have to buy a plane ticket and pay for the accommodation on the other uh, campus. Um, but we have many students uh, who uh, really appreciate to be able to experience the, 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 the student life on the, in the other city and to meet other students from the, the court on the other country. Um, so um, that is also something specific to our campuses of Singapore and Paris. So now I will uh, let my colleague uh, Busi um, talk to you about the Singapore campus. Sorry, I had, I was mute, so here I am back again. Thank you very much, uh, Nora, this is Bussi. So I am the manager for the Singapore campus. Would you choose to do the LM program in Singapore or study in Paris and decide to do the exchange program with Singapore? I will be your host and I will let me introduce you a bit more about uh, what you can expect from our campus here in Singapore. So Singapore, as you most, you should know, living in the region uh, is a financial hub in Southeast Asia and uh, maybe one of the most competitive places uh, to, do, to do business uh, in, in the world and in the region. Um, we, we chose to open a campus in Singapore about 10 years ago and um, we, we got the support from the government in Singapore to uh, um, develop our activities here um, and in response to, to a lot of uh, business needs. So, um, one of the main reasons you would like to, to study in Singapore is for the, the, the huge business opportunities, uh, whether you want to uh, uh, work here or get some connections for future uh, um, business or work appointments here uh, in, in Singapore. Um, Singapore is a very um, uh, open uh, country in the sense that, uh, culturally speaking, it's very easy to uh, to I said to to get into and um, to to relate, I would say, uh, with uh, other fellow um, compatriots. Uh, there are a lot of communities here that will allow you to uh, connect and easily define uh, your place. Okay. 
code is not working anymore. Right. Um, in Singapore, our campus is located inside the INSEAD building, which is uh, one of the leading business uh, schools in the world. Uh, you'll be studying law alongside the MBA students of INSEAD and um, be benefiting the, the fantastic uh, facilities of the campus. Uh, the students that choose to, to come to Singapore are mostly professionals or uh, graduates that have already uh, uh, completed their um, or about to complete their bar studies. Um, I would say um, we are seeing a, a greater number of um, uh, professionals who have already um, some years of experience uh, and want to expand or maybe do a career move into the legal industry in Singapore. Uh, the students are about Two third from Europe and one third from the from Asia. And once you uh, graduate from this program, you will be able to apply for a local visa. Uh, you will be that will allow you to to extend your stay for another year and to seek some more job opportunities. In fact, many years, many, every year we have students who come to Singapore with the with the uh, the desire and the project to to stay and and, and work in. Here yeah. and it does happen. Right. I, to give you a, a, an idea of what the budget would be, uh, which is also very similar to uh, the cost of living in Paris, in a way. Uh, as you know, um, I, I would say it's very similar to the situation in Paris, with uh, accommodation being a, maybe the, the main uh, the main cost for uh, for your cost of living. In Singapore, besides the LLM program, we offer executive education, we are, which are also uh, targeted to uh, professionals. And um, these programs are organized every month for um, a short period of time. And uh, we, uh, we allow our participants of the LLM program to, uh, to join this executive education free of charge and to meet uh, network with uh, other lawyers or other professionals who attend these programs. Um, so we have various project pro, uh, topics uh, varying from uh, uh, low tech to financial and uh, arbitration and uh, other areas of, of law, um, including space law and AI. Um, so this is uh, an ongoing, uh, I would say, uh, uh, programs. They will change them every year. And you can reach out to me if you want to, to know a bit more about what we have to offer this year. And uh, we, since uh, 2020, we are also offering all these programs online. So you'll be able to attend them, attend, attend them from, uh, uh, from the comfort of your home as well. So how do you apply to the, for the LLM program? So uh, registration for the LLM program, are, open in January 2022 um, and you, you'll, be, uh, you'll be able to uh, to apply through a portal. Um, we have provided here a list of documents that you need to prepare and we can give you more information about uh, how you can prepare your your uh, your application for, for the LM program. Um, And here, if you have any questions regarding this. So after this presentation, we'll be inviting you to a Q&A session. Uh, you can also uh, write down our contacts here for the different campuses. Uh, we haven't covered uh, Dubai and Mauritius, but uh, if there is some place that you'd be interested to go, please uh, go ahead. Um, and later on, uh, Nora and myself will be available for the Q&A session. 